Welcome to Keeping It Real with America, where we keep it real 100% of the time. I'm Maria. I'm Monica. And today we're duding, duding, doodle crate, duding. We're duding. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Um, so this is doodle. Crate? It says doodle art. Oh, doodle art. Whoops. <laughs> I think it's doodle crate. Yeah, probably. I think it's Doodle Crate, and they're calling it Doodle Art. Um, we'll have all the information down below. I think this one was 10 bucks for a month. Um, this is how it comes. It's supposed to have, like, art, some pens and art kind of supplies, which will be really good for, for her. And hopefully, maybe for me. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe there'll be a pen for me. Maybe. All right. So you open it up. And it is what's inside. And I don't know if it's just in one thing. If we can. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you open it up. If you know what's inside. And then you know what's inside. Because it comes in this thing. And then you can see everything. So. Which is kind of cool that it comes in a nice okay. little case. Yeah. I mean, it's not anything too fancy. Okay. So. Let's start with one. So the first one is a fabric marker in purple. It's a tulip. Oh, I'm going to see down. a white t-shirt and just wear all over it. And it's got a tip on it. So where's, that's, a, where's a piece of paper? Is there anything like scribble okay. on it? So, piece of paper. So it's really pretty fine. I know it's not going to show up very well for you guys. Nice Our lighting pretty sucks. Pretty color. It's, the lighting sucks to me. This is a distressed marker, fossilized and or is a dye ink acid free non toxic kind of marker, I guess. So it has a, a brush and a fine dry ink, it says. Alright, so this is the brush side. I wonder if that's what that one brush I got. Remember? Can't really see it. Oh. It's kind of like a yellow mustardy color. It looks it's like really kind of the color of mustard. Of mustard on this thing. Um, how's this one dry? This one's a little more finer. Can't really see our lighting is horrible. No, our lighting sucks. This is an alcohol based color in in B seven. <laughs> I don't know. In blue, it looks like blue. So it looks like this. One tip looks like that. I'm not even gonna try. The one tip is more thicker, like a paintbrush. I wanna say. Oh, these are nice. It's hashtag coloring alcohol base marker. If you're interested, this one has the web address. It's www.artalternatives.com. Dot com, dot com. <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> can't talk. It's designed in California. These are really nice markers. I just want to say. Artist loft in some type of marker. I think it might be gray or black. Artist loft. Oh, fine, nice. thin, and large. It looks like it might be. It's, awesome, nice. it's in gray. Yeah. So one part looks like that. And then the other part is more of a chisel that's look. Cool. That's yep, yeah, it's in a gray. That's a pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, yeah can there see. you can see that one. Oh my god, I love these pens. These ones are probably like my and This is an alcohol base too. I was trying to see if they all they don't all have a website. A website. Oh, I like these pens. I have a black one of this. Are they the same? Yeah. No, one's red and one's blue. And but I mean, they're the same yeah. brand. Yeah, okay, same so. brand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's some problems here. So these are the next ones. Oh, they're probably like really good. Like these are Mi Micron 005. Um, they're really good pen. They're a really thin line. I was trying to see if they... Micro pigment is all it says. It doesn't say the color. 
this red. So oh, they're like yeah. super duper fine. I love that about my pen. Oh, it's really fine. Okay, I'm just going to show you. So this line is the first line, and that's what. So you can get really detailed. I can't draw for crap. So I can. She can, though. So she got a red one. And a blue one. And a blue one. And the blue one, I think, is just as fine. Yep. Those. Yep. We have another one of um, those markers, the stress markers, and this one is Blueprint Sketch. So this is another of the distressed. I think they're the same kind of... Oh, it's got the brush and the thing, so you get two, two like that. You get two of these Marvy color and markers in green and purple. They kind of look like little, like those. They oh look like gosh. the markers that you use on those fuzzy things. Let's see how pigmented these are. Because sometimes those fuzzy ones, these actually are really nice. Oh my gosh. And they color in really nice. These are actually. They're like a brush. I see how it's a pretty purple. You can do some fun stuff. Oh. My name! I can never write in cursor. My cursor is crappy whenever the mail. Well, these are really cool. These are not like those markers at all. These are kind of like a little paintbrush like to them. That. These are really. And she got those. Or we got those. I keep saying she because I know she's going to get these, but. Purple and green. And then we have a brown fabric marker. And then another one of those fabric markers. And kind of a burnt brown. brown. It's kind of ugly. <laughs> it's kind of ugly. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's not too bad in paper. So well, the paper is not bad, but I'm like, I don't understand how you're going to It's hard do for you guys to see that. We don't know what to do about our camera at night. It's nighttime now, so we don't have the best light yet. So... Two of these tulip fabric markers. I don't know, like, it doesn't give you a thing on, like, how much each of these costs or any of that stuff, so I don't know. Um, so we got two of those, two of the distress brushes, two of these, two of the micro, two of them, two of these, and then these two are different yet similar in the same sense. So that's one, two, four, six. Eight, ten pens. That's nice. And then a little, pouchy. a little pouchy for her to keep them in. For I think this was ten dollars. Like I said, we'll have all the information below. Um, are you happy with it? I like it. I actually like it. I thought I was going like hate it for a second, but I kind of like it. It's it's a good way, like if you're into art, to try some different types of pens. Now we do have another art one that's kind of supposed to be similar to this that we're going to be trying out. So it'll be interesting to see the difference between the two and the cost and to see um, because she's into art and sometimes um, with her autism, sometimes she falls out of it and not so interested. And so maybe something like this, getting these new pens will kind of help inspire her to keep drawing and, and doing her creative because she's an amazing, amazing artist. Hey, I call her. She <laughs> colors, yes. But I love to see her creativeness because she's an amazing artist. Um, and so that's my hope is that by maybe giving her some of these products that it will help her do that. So if you're into art, it's a good way to try out some different pens and, and see what you like. So I because it's Inktober today. <laughs> it's Inktober today. Inktober means that you have to draw everything like with like a pen or pen or marker. Or it has to be like black or something like that. But I think I should just do it with like markers and pens and everything like that. Kind of cool. Never heard of that. That's pretty cool. And they do and the Inktober is supposed to be about like Halloween themed. So it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, remember, keep keeping it real until we see you next time. Bye. Bye.